Okay, so here's the second in our little suite of videos looking at producer subsidies and working through the key diagrams. This time, we're going to think about using cost and revenue curve analysis to show the impact of a subsidy on the price, the producer charges, as well as the profit they make. Loads of good examples around at the moment. Let me just pick out a couple for you. In Kenya, uh, the Kenya Planters Cooperative Union has unveiled the first distribution of subsidized fertilizer to, uh, to coffee farmers. Fertilizer, of course, a key ingredient, a key variable cost in the production and the growing of coffee beans. And in Ireland, of course, in many other countries, including the UK, uh, during the pandemic, during lockdown and things, there's been a wage subsidy scheme on offer where the government has effectively subsidised the cost of keeping workers uh, on the payroll through the furlough scheme. That wage subsidy paid to Irish firms is due to be phased out by the end of April 2022. So there's always good, good examples of, if you like, input subsidies uh, available to producers. And I want to use cost and revenue curve analysis to show the possible effects. We're going to assume that the firm is a profit maximizing business. So here's our cost and revenue curves initially. Marginal average cost, marginal average revenue. Assuming the firm is a profit maximizer, that produces an output where marginal cost intersects with marginal revenue. That's output Q1. And if you draw up to the demand curve, the average revenue curve, you can then find the price that this firm can charge, P1. And you also need to find the unit cost or the average cost of producing Q1, which is there. And because price is above average cost, the firm is making a super normal profit indicated by that lovely little yellow shaded area. Now, a subsidy to producers lowers their costs, lowers their marginal and their average cost. If you think about the Kenyan farmers, there's a good example they're using fertilizer to, to grow their, uh, their products, their produce. Uh, a subsidy on fertilizer brings down the marginal cost of supply of cocoa and things and coffee beans and therefore brings down the average cost of production as well. So how do we show this? We show this by shifting the marginal cost down. And don't forget to label this. That's the marginal cost with the input subsidy. And that also drags down the average cost of production with the input subsidy. So assuming a profit maximizing firm, there'll be a new equilibrium here where marginal cost meets marginal revenue. We'll call that output Q2. So the subsidy expands production. Uh, using the demand curve, there's more output, so they won't necessarily be able to charge P1 anymore. They'll be able to charge slightly lower price P2. We draw that in for you. So the subsidy does bring down the cost. Uh, that's a good little example of how subsidies can lower the price to consumers. But of course, because the unit cost has come down because of the subsidy, the average cost of Q2 is here. Let me draw that in for you there. So our output cuts the average cost curve uh, line. So now P2 is well above AC2. Uh, the fall in the price is, is, is not as big as the fall in the unit cost. And output's gone up. So hopefully you can see if I now shade in for you the profit area. Previously it was yellow. Now it becomes green, a higher level of profit shown by the green area. So subsidies can increase um, uh, profit. Even though the firm is lowering price, they can still make a higher profit per unit. Now that's cost and revenue curve analysis to show the effect of a subsidy. I think the key thing is to read the question carefully. If it does say using supply and demand, well then you've got to go back to your year 12 analysis as the basis for your diagram. That's perfectly valid. Uh, if it doesn't say that, perhaps you might want to think about using cost and revenue curves because it does show that lower cost can lead to higher profits even if the subsidised firm cuts their prices in the market. There we go. That was uh, two uh, short videos uh, working through, walking through with you the key diagrams for producer subsidies. Thank you.